Well, if you ask 100 people if they've ever eaten sorghum, chances are they'll have no idea what you're talking about. However, most people don't realize that sorghum is a cereal grain, and it's actually the fifth most important cereal crop in the entire world. Is it sorghum or milo? Milo or sorghum? Well, it's both. Grain sorghum is also called milo, and it's one of the most versatile crops in the world. The earliest record of this ancient grain dates back to 8000 BC in Africa. Sorghum was domesticated near Ethiopia, and from there moved throughout all of Africa, where it still remains an important cereal grain today. In 1757, Benjamin Franklin introduced the first grain sorghum crop to the United States. Today, sorghum is used for food, feed, and fuel across the world. Sorghum's use in the ethanol market has seen tremendous growth in the past few years, with 30 to 35 percent of domestic sorghum going to ethanol production. Sorghum kernels can vary in color from white and pale yellow to deep reds, purples, and browns. It's an extremely hardy crop and naturally tolerant to drought, so farmers can efficiently utilize marginal land and conditions. Tolerance, versatility, and yield potential make sorghum one of the most important crops in the world. Now there's even a sorghum-based beer on the market, and I bet if we ever end up at the Bard's Brewery in Minneapolis, Minnesota, there's a story there with Avery Davidson's name on it. Well, moving on to Twyla Trivia, last week I asked you which vegetable was originally named the love apple, and the correct answer is C, tomato. This week's question is, which state hosts the National Sorghum Festival? Is it A, Georgia, B, Kansas, or C, Nebraska? To enter this week's Twyla Trivia contest, simply log on to your Facebook or Twitter account and post the answer with the hashtag Twyla Trivia. Or you can always submit your answer online on our website at twylatv.org. Still to come on this week in Louisiana agriculture, would you be able to stay in business if you were paid about the same amount of money you were 30 years ago? Neil Malasaw shows us why it's tough for dairy farmers to stay above the bottom line. Stay with us.